Yesterday, MatPat of the film theorists and the game theorists was trending on Twitter because he made a tweet about Etika and a lot of people are really upset and they're arguing about what cancel culture actually is. So let's discuss this topic in this video and see what we can learn from it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if cancel culture is something that you're interested in learning more about. Uh, I was canceled a little bit earlier this year. I wrote this brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. It's an ebook and an audio book. It's always linked down in the description, down in the pinned comment below, if you wanna check that out. I do talk a little bit in the book about Etika's situation as well as many other YouTubers um, and what's been going on, all right? So anyways, here's the story. Uh, yeah, yesterday, um, I saw Matt Pat tweet something out and I, I love Matt Pat. I saw him speak at VidCon. He seems like a legitimately good dude. And I want you to remember that for something we're gonna talk about in a little bit, but Matt Pat seems like a good guy, all right? I don't know him personally, but he just seems like a good guy, all right? But anyways, he sent out a tweet yesterday, this tweet that showed a picture of their new office and it said, giving a presentation to big to a big media company, Etika may be gone, but we're trying to make sure his memory and his message aren't forgotten. And as you can see from that slide in the presentation, um, there's also a quote from Etika's final video that he made before he tragically took his own life. All right, but yeah, I saw that and I was like, that's awesome, Matt Pat. Like, and I, I liked the tweet, I retweeted it. And yeah, last night I was just hanging out, watching a movie with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, and I saw Matt Pat was trending on Twitter. I'm like, what? What's going on? Because I don't, I don't know, like I got one of those bad feelings because a lot of times when things are trending on Twitter, it's not, not a good thing. But yeah, people were really upset about it and they were saying, you know, what happened to Etika was mental illness and Matt Pat of, you know, the film theorists and game theorists, like he's wrong, like this wasn't a cancel culture issue and people were really upset. So here's a couple of the most liked and shared tweets that were pretty upset. I loathe cancel culture, but F Matt Pat for this. Etika died because he was mentally ill and didn't get the help he needed. If anyone is to blame, it's all the people who didn't take the sign seriously enough and treated the whole thing like a big meme. This next one said, cancel culture? What part of his death is even slightly related to cancel culture? F U Matt Pat. And then this next one was a little bit more chill and it says, Etika's suicide was not a product of cancel culture in any sense of the phrase. It was a different, much more harmful mob mentality that turned his serious mental illness into the butt of a joke. This is unacceptable to the first degree, Matt Pat. So in regards to that last tweet, like this is where we're going to be discussing like what is cancel culture? Like that last tweet said this was mob mentality and not cancel culture. And here's my question to you. What is cancel culture if it's not part of mob mentality. Like that's what we talk about all the time when we're talking about cancel culture, right? We're talking about mob mentality, the mob. I talk a lot on this channel about crowd psychology and what happens when cancel culture strikes in these online hate mobs. So anyways, here's one of the biggest issues I see, specifically with this debate around the Etika situation, is this, people are saying, it wasn't cancel culture, it was mental illness. And this is something that I've been looking at a lot more lately where people always think it's either or, either or, either or. The reality is as human beings, we are multi-dimensional. There are often things that are more than one thing, right? So I think it's, it's a little unfair to say what happened to Etika was mental illness, not cancel culture. So those of you who have been following my channel or you've been following the story about what happened um, with Alex Holoka, who just took his life the other day, that was 
a prime example of both, of mental illness and cancel culture leading to suicide, all right? These things are not mutually exclusive. When you combine mental illness with cancel culture, we have these types of tragedies. Like, ask yourself real quick, why are some people able to get through the online hate mob and come out on the other side and some aren't? Typically, the factor is mental illness. So another thing that I find interesting about this whole thing is people losing it on MatPat. Like those tweets I read you, just like F you MatPat, right? Like I just find it extremely ironic that in a conversation about cancel culture, the hate mob starts going after MatPat. So here's the thing, like we as humans, we always, expect the worst in others. And like, I'm telling you right now, something that vastly improved my own mental and emotional well-being was to quit assuming the worst in others. So I wasn't in that room and neither were you, okay? But the reality is none of us know what that presentation was about that MatPat did. Like people are assuming that MatPat didn't talk about the mental illness component of the Etika story, right? Like, why are there so many assumptions? Why are people assuming the worst? Here's the thing. Like, whenever a tragedy happens, the internet is such a fast moving place. Everything is just go, 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 right? Like, one of the best things you could do with cancel culture is just ignore things and just wait a week because something else is gonna pop up, right? But when we have tragedies like Etika, like, people aren't talking about Etika anymore. People aren't raising awareness about what happened to Etika. Like, I look at it and, like, I've seen MatPat raise money for, um, you know, mental health organizations and things like that. Like, his heart is definitely in the right place. And he's trying to keep Etika's story out there and going, which is, not gonna lie, it's more than what a lot of people are doing with their platform. Because whether you look at this as a cancel culture issue or a mental illness issue, the reality is that we need to be talking about this more, but we're constantly just moving on to the next thing, moving on to the next thing. And like, this only happened just a few months ago and people, nobody's talking about it anymore. So I appreciate that MatPat is, is bringing Etika's story to light and to new people. So maybe, maybe by increasing awareness, we can start to find more solutions so this doesn't happen to more people in the future. Now, let's talk about what cancel culture is a little more and what happened with Etika. So yes, like I am not a, a, a licensed therapist or a psychologist or anything like that, but we have enough evidence out there that shows that Etika was struggling with mental health issues. So when it comes to cancel culture, like I'm just confused why people think that this wasn't a factor. Etika kind of canceled himself as a result for the, of the mental struggles he was going through. So he completely sabotaged his YouTube channel and all of that, but there was a series of events that happened. But anyways, going back to the whole mob mentality and everything like that, like, you guys, do you not remember that Etika was being spammed with clown emojis, people making memes, people making fun of him, and things like that? Like, the internet was going after him hardcore. But what are some of the factors of cancel culture, right? He lost what he built, all right? Even if that was self-inflicted, he lost what he built, right? And this is something that we see with cancel culture all the time. Like with Alex Holoka, he lost his job, right? He lost his reputation in the gaming community. Like a lot of loss comes with cancel culture, okay? The next one, like I just mentioned, the internet, the hate mob was coming after him. Yes, Etika still did have a lot of support, but there were thousands and thousands of people going after that dude. And one of the other components of cancel culture that we saw clear as day was Etika's friends distanced themselves from him, all right? I remember, I remember when Etika first went missing, like I saw people who said they were friends with Etika and said, you know, like, oh my, just ignore that, he's just playing and you know, all that, you know? And then when the news came out, they were heartbroken and devastated, but a lot of people distanced themselves. And like, please, for the love of God, watch the video I just made 
about Alec Holoka yesterday and the mental health stigma, right? Like people get so annoyed by suicidal threats, but then when the suicide actually happens, people are devastated. Like you guys, we need to start being proactive about this stuff. But anyways, like, the fact is Matt Pat is talking about cancel culture and why it's so dangerous. And it's something that we need to keep talking about. Like I discussed this in a video I did the other day, but you guys, like they outlawed public shaming in the United States hundreds of years ago. People said it was a punishment worse than death. We know how much it damages the psyche. And here's why, just to give you a little evolutionary psychology real quick. As human beings, we are designed to be connected to others and we are tribal beings, all right? When people distance themselves from us, no matter what it is, whether you wanna call it cancel culture, whether you wanna call it mental illness, whatever it is, but you also need to think about the people in your life as well who might be struggling. When we are distanced from other people because of what we're going through, it makes things worse. We are designed to be connected with others. This is one of the reasons why isolating is the absolute worst thing that you can do for your depression or anxiety. It's the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do, all right? Like, there are people out there who are trying to get rid of solitary confinement because they consider it cruel and unusual punishment for what it does to the psyche. I want you guys to think about that for a second, all right? In a country where we still have the death penalty in some states, public shaming is no longer something that we do and people are trying to get rid of solitary confinement because it's cruel and unusual punishment, but we still have the death penalty. That is how bad cancel culture is, all right? But anyways, the last thing, I just wanna remind you, all right? Things aren't always either or. Sometimes they are a combination, okay? You can have mental illness as a factor as well as cancel culture, online hate mob mentality as a factor as well, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down in the description below. Um, not in the description, but in the comments below. Um, but yeah, like I said too, check out the pinned comment because my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube, Cancel Culture is out now. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, buying merch, buying my books, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate you. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.